Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new in today's video I have some sneak peeks to show you guys for upcoming updates for dress to impress So make sure to subscribe for more dress to impress content because I'm on the road to hundred and twenty thousand subscribers And my goal is to get to hundred fifty thousand subscribers before the year ends So it would mean so much to me I was gonna originally post this video talking about the brat update leaving today But it ended up getting delayed to tomorrow So the brat update is still in game and not leaving officially until until tomorrow i did make a short talking about this if you guys are interested then go check that out and make sure to go check out all of my other socials they are all linked in the description down below and i do post consistently on those as well just like my youtube channel i do have a minecraft channel and i'm posting a video tomorrow if you guys are interested in that but let's just get straight into the video <laughs> Just as a quick disclaimer and reminder for you guys, like always, everything I'm showing you guys in today's video is subject to change, which basically means everything I'm showing you guys in today's video could look completely different from when it actually releases in game. And also keep in mind, not everything is confirmed to get added in the next update for Dress to Impress. Everything could be spread out. For example, some of the stuff I'm going to show you guys is for the Halloween update. It's not confirmed all this stuff will come together in the same update, so keep that in mind while you're watching today's video. And mostly everything I'm going to be showing you guys is from their official Dress to Impress Discord server. So now that you guys know that, we can get straight into the video. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys, I'm pretty sure is already in game. But somebody posted on Twitter and said, should I talk to Gigi, the owner of Dress to Impress, to see if I can rework and bring this diva back? I'm pretty sure this is currently still in game. I could be completely wrong though. But a rework for this would be so cool. I personally like the way it looks. Maybe adding more toggles to it would be super cool i don't know i'm pretty excited to see if this does end up getting reworked okay so i'm gonna give you guys some context for the next screenshot because this can be a little bit confusing if there's no context so basically gg sent this into the announcement channel in the official just to impress discord server basically asking if members can color the white part of this skirt now she did have members send in proof and was getting some feedback on this and she did send this a couple of times now the reasoning i'm pretty sure behind this is to see if the role Roblox feature that was updated I'm pretty sure a couple of days ago I'm not sure if it's actually out but to see if the Roblox feature is actually working which means if we could actually use this on the hair as many of you guys know the hair has some specific hairs where you can only use a specific color palette on it instead of using the entire color wheel so I'm pretty sure this is why she wanted members to test this then after getting some results she then said then sadly the color wheel for all hairs update will not release yet I'm I'm assuming this has something to do with roblox and the coloring of the white part of the skirt i'm not sure but just so you guys know it unfortunately will not release yet now keep in mind this was said four days ago from when i'm actually recording and posting this so maybe something has changed i'm not sure though now i am in the discord server to show you guys some halloween ideas that they have for the next update now a dev did say hey players do you have any specific halloween items you want in game for the next update you can now send references in this thread and we will be reviewing them all and taking into consideration your ideas now i can't sit through six thousand plus messages but some common things that i have been seeing a lot of is scary masks cloaks horns a broom a witch hat stuff like that i have been seeing a lot of that would be really cool to see in game honestly a cool feature that i personally would love to see is if we have to collect candy in the map and if we get all of the candy then we can actually purchase the halloween items or maybe some limited halloween items i don't know i think that would be so cool and i'm excited to see what they have for the halloween update if you guys would like you guys can go check out this thread yourself and maybe leave some suggestions yourself so the next thing i'm going to be showing you guys isn't from me i did get this from a tiktoker so full credits do go to this user right here for this next photo i'm going to show you guys so it's a photo of gg in game showcasing this new makeup and we currently don't have this in game and i did talk to one of the developers about it and he did say it's for the halloween update 
right. So it won't be in game ASAP, but it'll definitely be in game for Halloween, which is so exciting because the makeup looks so gorgeous so somebody did make a suggestion in the discord server asking could you also make it where people can't put hair over the hijab please and zach responded and said yes i mentioned this to earlier i will boost tomorrow somebody else made a suggestion saying we need to make it so people can't wear revealing clothing with the hijabs zach responded and said we actually talked about this before i'm gonna boost the idea tomorrow when everyone is awake because that seems the most logical but this is a perfect idea and then this was sent into the discord server now it looks like a pose animation i'm not sure if this was just something for jokes or if this is something we're actually gonna get in game i personally would love to see this in game because we don't have many animation poses that make us fall to the floor or anything like that and the name of this gif when i did save it was called faint gif so maybe we're gonna get this in game i'm not 100 percent sure but i would love to see this get added i did talk about this in a previous sneak peek video but one of the developers was talking about a sword being his code item and he once again said when i come back i'm making a sword for dti for my code item so i guess it's confirmed that we are officially getting a sword in game as the code item before i wasn't sure if it was serious but now i think we're actually gonna get a sword in game which is really exciting the next thing i'm gonna show you guys is really interesting so the person who's in charge of the lana lore sent this into the chat and it says we're hiring open position job vacancy nail tech and as many of you guys know lana has been acting really weird recently so maybe this has something to do with it maybe they are planning on replacing her i'm not 100 percent sure but this is just so creepy and like i mentioned before we might be getting a sword code item and he actually said yesterday also i finished my code item gonna sneak peek when i have Terms. So make sure to hit the notification bell so you guys know when that is posted so I can let you guys know. So it was actually just now confirmed midway filming this video for you guys that we are officially getting that sword code item. Here is the picture that was sent into the sneak peek channel of the official Dress to Impress Discord server. He did also say that we're going to be doing a scavenger hunt to find the pieces of the code to connect it all together and it's 13 characters which is really interesting. That's if for today's video make sure to subscribe to help me reach my subscriber goal and also hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload from me so here is today's fan art alongside this amazing fan art i also have some people wearing the merch from my roblox group which is linked in the description down below if you would like your fan art or you wearing the merch showcased in one of my videos all you have to do is submit it in the proper channels in my discord server post on twitter and make sure to tag me or post on your youtube community tab and i will make sure to include your fan art or you wearing my merch in one of my videos.